what your project is determines maybe what coordination selection you're looking for as well. Okay, so I'm just going to sand that just lightly and expose some of that core. While we're still waiting for those spools to dry, let's work on our cover a little bit here. And I've got my green piece of paper and then I also have prepared a piece of the Eskimo Kisses paper line by Basic Gray. So we're just going to use one of our Glue Glider Pro guns and attach that, but really quickly here, I just have to trim off this excess. And you can actually rip it if you want, so I'm just going to kind of see exactly where my journal ends here. Okay, that looks pretty good. And I've got some fired brick distress ink here. You can use um, fluid chalk or, and I'm also going to grab an ink blending tool so that I can, there, that's better. like that torn edge. Now I'm just going to cut it right off. No problem. I just didn't like that torn edge, but I do like the red inking. Okay, that's much better. And then, so this I'm going to put all the way to the edge here, and then this I'm going to kind of offset and put over here maybe. And then I can put something cute over here like shopping list or I'm going to have my spools here. So that is how we will lay it out. I'm using my Permatac and my Blue Glider Pro. Super easy to use. There we go. Okay, so that pretty much completes the cover design, um, and like I said, I might cut something out a little like a snowflake, or maybe we'll do some kind of little tag here. So I'm going to finish that off in just a couple minutes here. Let's go back to the spools, and I've got my green metal, my apple teeny metal, and I just quickly wrapped this around my spool to see how long it needed to be. Let's do the same thing with the other one before we get the adhesive put on. And wherever it needs to be cut off, I'm just going to bend it so that I know where to make my cut. And then, let's run some Permatac on the back. And then we've got one spool covered. We'll do the same thing to the next one. So I've cut out this little tiny shape here, and you could probably find something like this um, on tags, bags, or fabulous finds. And I'm just going to write on here, shopping guide. Put a little permatac on the back there. And put it down on the front there. Okay, so we are all set to put this on and together and attach our spools. Very, very cute, that is. Um, so let's give this a try. Karen said took her a couple of times.
So I finally got it. Um, I just basically put the twine through the bottom first, then brought it up and then pushed the both ends of the twine down through the spools. Now you can either tie it at this point and your bow would be somewhere near the bottom, which is perfectly fine if you ask me, that's probably what I'll do. Um, or you could try to like wrap it around like this and tie it, I don't know how you wanna do it, but I'm going to just tie a secure knot here at the bottom and then you will be all set. Your um, shopping guide or your family photo memory book is ready for use. We hope that you enjoyed another Custom Crafts holiday project today. If you have any questions about the project, please let us know. You can find many of the things we use today on our website, customcrafts.com. Thanks for watching and have a great day.